As we talk about, uh, uh, Pastor Kerry told about making decisions, uh, we got to make decisions. And today in Family Focus, of, uh, we're going to talk about breaking the power of predestina- um, procrastination. Not predestination, <laughs> procrastination. <laughs> it's a decision we have to make. So I want to talk to you for the next three minutes or so about breaking the power of procrastination. We'll start with a scripture here that comes from Ephesians 5, verses 15 to 17. It says, look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of time, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. How many people here today have heard these words in your home? Uh, not now, tomorrow, I'll do my homework later, or even for myself, I'll call that person back later. Then the week goes by and I miss that call or that time I could talk with that person. We all struggle with procrastination. So these are normal things when people tend to put off what they were going to do today, they put it off for tomorrow. What happens though, it, when it becomes a problem is when we continue to have a pattern of procrastination. It's almost sounded like she was describing me there for a moment. <laughs> but in everything in life, there is a cause and we know the effects, and we look at the solution. So we need to look at the cause in order for us to have a solution. We know the effects right now is what procrastination is when people delay in doing things. So a couple of things, uh, when, we, when we think about procrastination, sometimes we think it's mere laziness, or sometimes we think we're not motivated, and sometimes you think your kids are very lazy, and they just don't want to do what they're supposed to do, like chores, etc. But lack of relevance, boredom, lack of self Uh, discipline, poor time management, sometimes anxiety or fear, sometimes even the way how we're built up from uh, how we're being brought up and and the examples we have seen in front of our eyes, maybe how we were raised by our parents or even uh, our role model, if they're procrastinators, we end up becoming procrastinators as well. So we need to look at uh, what are some tips in order for us to break this power of procrastination of our lives. And the first thing I thought of is uh, we need to learn to ask questions. Why are we not doing what we're doing? Why are we not doing what we're supposed to do? Why are we putting it aside? Even with our children, we need to come down to their level and find out why you're not doing what we were discussing that needs to be done. And sometimes we need to think maybe they're not mature enough. Sometimes the mind is not developed enough. Sometimes they just don't know how to do what they need to do. So we need to come down to their level and start working and finding solutions. We also need to clarify our clarify our expectations. We need to make them clear and realistic. Sometimes we set goals for ourselves that are really unrealistic. We need to set small, measurable goals for ourselves and also with our children so that can be clear. And these are can be goals that can be reached and not be unrealistic. Also, we need to learn how to problem solve. And uh, technically, if the brain is not developed enough, we need to teach the brain in order to, to do things. For example, if you were to, someone would ask you to do something and you don't know how to do it, you become very frustrated in life. But if the person shows you how to do it, the next time you're going to do it, you won't have a problem, you won't have anxiety, your mental health won't be affected because you know exactly what steps to take in order to do it. So we need to learn how to do things in life. We also need to point out positive qualities, and we talked about that last week. We need to encourage one another in the positive aspects and positive qualities we have that helps build up self-esteem so we tend not to procrastinate because we know we have that knowledge that we can go ahead and do it. And lastly, we need to use our experience that we do have and expand those experiences in order for us not to procrastinate. We need to be able to be confident in ourselves that if we have done it once, we can do it again. And if we need help, by all means, we need to ask for help. Would you agree? It's a family. 